Okay. Uh, hey guys, really awkward, unedited, super improvised vlog with just my cell phone. So, uh, how's it going? Uh, I just figured I'd do an update vlog. Um, my life so far, still working at home and uh, not doing much, just literally like uh, 70 hours a week. So I just start typing in the morning. I wake up at like six and then I go to bed at like 10. But uh, I've been ordering stuff online uh, just uh, because Facebook ads are getting good. And <laughs> I, like, um, so some stuff came in today and I thought I'd share them. Oh, and something else really random, but I thought it was kind of cool. So uh, today we announced that in the beginning of September, we are going back into the office, which is kind of cool because I get to see people, but kind of crap because I don't get to stay home. But I, I submitted uh, an application or just a request to work uh, remotely on a hybrid schedule, which is kind of where I think all companies are trying to take this at first. So hopefully I get to work at least two or three even possibly, you know, fingers crossed, days out of the week. Um, but yeah, be, that being said, I'm gonna go straight into the whole, I bought some stuff and I wanted to show it. And um, they're really different and random, so sorry, but I just, I don't plan these videos, but they did show up at the same time, so that's kind of why I have two things to show today. So, uh, the very first thing, I told you it's improvised, I walk away and everything. The first thing I have is this massage gun thing. It is the M9 Pro. So if you want to order one, I did some research and this seems to be the best low cost variation of a massage gun. And if you don't know what that is, it's just, actually I'll just show you, but um, yeah. So like they can go up to like $650 for something called a Theragun, which is like, I guess, I guess like the best brand ever. But here you go, you got some packets and whatnot. And you don't get a case, so you, you should really keep the box. But it comes with all these uh, different attachments and then the main gun. And what it basically does, it just kind of does like a massaging, very simplistic piston-like, uh, you know, back and forth motion or whatever. So here you go. The, the gun itself, just all the attachments have a very simple push. Done. And then if you're done and you want to take it out, just pull. So very simplest, uh, simplistic uh, design. Then on the back, you got a power button. You got a 99, which I don't know, I think that's battery life uh, percentage or something, um, which kind of cool because I've used this for at least like 10 minutes today and um, still 99. So this has a plus and minus. So the plus will increase the power level. It goes up to six. And what I found is six is very strong. Even though this is a budget gun, it has a lot of power. I don't need more than six. Six hurts sometimes, depending on where you use it. So I usually keep it on three. So let me go ahead and put that on three. So that's one, two, three. And you can see this is really fast. So it's just like a, you know, a, it's kind of like a jackhammer, but it's handheld and you're not trying to destroy anything. You're just trying to tenderize, you know, like muscles that may be very tight. So if I work in the office all day, I could just be like this and ow. Okay, cool. Like in a good, good ow, good ow. Yeah, I mean, I, I notice this doesn't really work on like your bones. So try to avoid that because it kind of, it, then it just bounces off. So like, you know, try to avoid your spine and like your shoulder, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but um, so this gun was highly recommended by the person I saw reviewing it because it's really quiet because some of them get really loud and it's powerful. A lot of them are really weak, but it's in a good price range. So yeah, uh, if you're looking for a massage gun, here's a good recommendation. I don't have experiences with other massage guns, but already from just using this, I can tell this is a good quality product. I will let you guys know if this breaks, you know, weirdly fast or anything wrong with it. Um, so, but I, I've been, I went through like the, uh, the reviews, no one's been really complaining and this has been out for quite a while. So 
It's got a lot of good reviews. Um, so just look up like the M9 Pro and hopefully you like it if you want it, if you want it, okay? I thought this would be a good purchase for me because, you know, I work in the office all day. I used to suffer horrible repetitive stress syndrome and get like a lot of pain. Like when I, all my fingers ached and my four, and it climbed all the way up to my forearm. So this would have helped so much back then, but I never, never had the thought of buying one. So there we go. Um, actually, I didn't know what it was until just recently. Because of Facebook. Thanks, Facebook. Okay. So next, I got three top wear things that I ordered. It's um, on a website called New Chic. Uh, there's also an app. It's N or N E W like new and then chic. You know, stylish. Um, I didn't know what it was, but I thought, you know what? I like the styles. They're kind of cute. Um, and uh, there was a lot of hoodie stuff. So you know what? I'm gonna order some stuff and give them a try. The only different, the only issue that I would totally like change when I ordered this stuff was maybe going a size smaller. Usually I try to go large because I'm a medium um, because the, uh, especially on Asian, because a new chic is like an Asian brand, which is um, why I think I like it so much. But at the same time, it is very, Asians are smaller. So once I've ordered from a Japanese website and they're like, this is a large, it was like a US miniature medium. It's like medium, but the lowest possible, like barely medium. So I ordered a large thinking it'll be a tight fit. This is a US large. So, you know, just in case you guys want to browse their stuff, it's, uh, they actually have a sizing chart. I just never looked at it. I was just like, I'm a large, let's do it. So. Um, no, uh, it's a, it's accurate to U.S. sizes. It might even be bigger slightly than U.S. sizes, so I don't know. I'll show you what I mean. I got larges, so I'm gonna wear them random order. Maybe, maybe we're random. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's the first one. This is a hooded, I don't know, It's it, it looks kinda cool, but also very simple. I like the design, and I, uh, I don't know. It, it seems pretty cool. So I'm gonna just put these on real quick, show you what I mean. Oh. See, I like this. I like, I like uh, colors that are like predominantly like darker shades like black and gray and then one lighter color that kind of contrasts it. So like yellow or maybe blue or green and then white. So this is something that I really like color wise. Um, I mean, you can tell by the tank top I chose under here, it's also yellow and gray. So that's kind of my like thing going. Darker colors suit me best and then light blue. So I don't know why this video turned into like a, hey, let's wear clothes thing, but how else am I supposed to demonstrate the products that I bought? Okay, the next piece was very similar, but all black. But I thought this, uh, this was pretty cool. It's inside out though, my bad. Okay, I didn't prepare for this video, all right? I just uh, took things out and, uh, you know, finished work and I'm like, this is good time to make a unedited one-time quick video. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I mean, I took everything out of their bags. Um, I guess that's as much prep as I did. But I also wanted to, you know, try them on at least once, so. Here we go, so same thing here. I like this one because the drawstrings are white and it just pops out, you know? But then it's also got a hood, and it's a pretty sizable hood because I can't see, and my head is freaking huge. Like, my head is huge. So you know, if the uh, the hood covers your head, then, or my head, then it's ginormous. And I like the, just the nice, simplistic, stylish, you know, the King of Spades look. Just, you know, it, it, I don't, it's not like symbolizing anything that looks cool and it's generic. And then the last, the last one is the special one because I've never seen anything quite like it and it's not weird. I mean, it is weird, but hold on. All right. Yeah, having a lot of hair sucks, but I realized that if I keep my hat on, uh, it'll fall off right away because of switching clothes so much. So bear with me here. But, um, so this is a shirt. What? What is on here? 
Okay, the word Dream Maker is on it, uh, very vague. Uh, it, as you can see, it's pretty large, but uh, here's the best part. Look at that. It's got pockets, and the pockets have drawstrings that you can actually tighten, which I don't understand, but it looks aesthetically really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give that a try. One second. Ooh, actually, while we're doing this video, I wanna show you guys a pair of pants that I bought a while ago on a different Facebook clothing only brand website called, uh, okay, I forgot what it's called, Street Pit. But I think it was one of those guys who made a bunch of different websites but still sold the same product. But I got it and it was awesome. So anyway, so this is the, uh, the shirt. Um, as you can see, it's loose, but at the same time, you know, if I got a smaller one, that would be better. But kind of looks like I work at Starbucks, but you know, with the right pair of pants to contrast these colors, I think it'd be looking pretty cool. So, yeah, anyway, hold on. I, I know I'm supposed to edit out the part where I go get the pants, but I'll be right back. I've seen a lot of like cool hip pants on the internet, but I really like these. They got all these weird tags that no one's gonna read, and then it's got these like, suspender-like things, which you're not supposed to actually wear, you just, you just leave lower. But I don't know, I think I'm gonna try and collect more funky Asian-style cool hip clothes and coordinate outfits and stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna try these on, that's gonna be a little too weird for me for a video, but I figured, okay. Um, I got to show off a lot of cool stuff, and uh, I don't know, let me, let me know what you think. Um, I write maybe like in the description, like the names of the stuff that you guys can look up. The, the branding of clothes or whatever, you can just look in the Google Play Store um, for their app and you'll see all their clothes. It's called New Chic and uh, check it out. You know, they got cool clothes. So I ordered from them, you know, uh, two more like things. And I think one or, or both of them have like, it's like a set. So it's like a shirt and a pair of shorts. So I don't know. This is what I do. So this is just content that I have to make. Okay, bye. <laughs> Peace out. Oh, before I forget, um, those Hue crackers got old real fast. Like, I don't like them anymore. And Magic Spoon cereal, uh, they're okay, but I don't, eh. Just thought I'd give you an update on that because I did the video and everything, and I'm just like... Eh. I mean, the cereal's okay. I'll, I can keep eating it. It's just, I'm not excited for it. And uh, the crackers are just bleh, so I don't recommend the crackers. But their chocolates are so good. So get their get their chocolates. Get the simple chocolate, not the one with sea salt. Okay, bye, bye.